Okay, now we're down to our recap now. It has been a very busy three days. So we know on Saturday, after I finished my Texas load, it wasn't Texas, I'm sorry, after I finished up the West Lake slash um, Lake Charles run, on Saturday I found that I had a lake from the top of the radiator because we know the previous week we replaced the reservoir and all of the hoses and everything we replaced the belts as well as the belt retentioner and then I had a radiator leak so Monday we began the process of finding a radiator and I ended up finding one it was in um, of course we can go back over just a recap but we ended up going to Jackson and as you see the videos prior to this, we went to Jackson and we got the radiator and we got it installed today. And it is Wednesday, so we got it done within three days. So that is pretty, pretty cool when you can do that. So now it's kind of messy under the hood, so I'm, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to head back to the shop tonight, back to the terminal in Mobile tonight, this evening. So I'm going to go take a nap after this because I'm exhausted. And... Afterwards, I'm going to wash it up and then I'm going to do a test run on it again, check for leaks and everything again, once again, before we accept any more loads. So that should get us taken care of. So once again, we end up replacing the reservoir up top, the two top radiator holes, the bottom radiator holes, the two belts, and the belt retentioner there, that piece. And the radiator, the radiator itself. So we did everything. Uh, it was just end up being um, um, approximately about after everything with everything. Draw my numbers out real quick. Uh, Twenty three hundred dollars. So not too bad to get it back within a couple of days. So if I went to the dealership, it could have took a week or more to get that done especially with the labor shortage so when it comes to this business here when it comes to this business here you got to find all the shortcuts that you can you know how you can save money I'm always buying parts I'm always uh, researching mechanics and parts so and that's how you're able to save money but you haven't saved any money if you haven't turned around and, and invest your money where you got your money making babies so you want your money making babies and you can find out about the book called the richest man in Babylon it basically says which it was kind of harsh the way he said it but the author was like you want money to be your slaves and you want your slaves making babies so harsh but you want your money making money while you're sleeping so but that's it that's how we this is how you save and save time and time saved out here is money saved so I'll be ready to take another load probably Friday Saturday but back on the road we'll be out for a couple of weeks if not a month and continue to grind so once again that's what it is that's what it was and this is where we at thank you for tuning in like share subscribe thanks a lot be great